the house video to tell you how it all hangs together. The first thing you do when you first load in the house is it comes up with a screen that asks you to set your details. So if you continue to details, you would have, as you can see, already added in your name and a random number, which you can change. So type any name you want and save it. Once that is done, you can go through all the other details, they're all optional, and type in anything you want, or select anything you want, um, for argument's sake, age, 18, and you can clear anything you, you like as well. So if you type something in error, you just go ahead and clear it, and you can type something else. You'll notice on the screen as well, there's something, chat to me, yes or no, it defaults to yes. That means once you're in the house, people can chat to you, but more about that later. So once you put your details in, what have we put in here? We put in age, nationality, oh, we'll put in gender, and we'll go back. Once you finish putting your details, you can go back to the main screen, which is in the house. You'll see on the screen there's um, your details, my details, and also my likes. We'll go into my likes a bit later. So if we go back to in the house, you can see now we're looking for other people that are in the house. So moving away from this phone to the next one, we'll do exactly the same thing. Um, we start in the house, and the count of the first thing is continue to enter details. We'll go in there, and really it's put in this person's name. So we'll change it a bit. We'll take out the random number. And we'll save that, and we'll put in an age, 19, and we'll put in nationality, and we'll put in agenda, and we'll put in looking for someone to go running around the world with, backpacker buddy. All right, so that's enough of that, and we go back to in the house, and we'll do done. And now, as you can see, um, the one phone that we typed in earlier is showing the other phone, so they both picked each other up on the wireless network. So once this comes up on your screen, you can certainly expand it and see all the details that we put in for that person. And you'll notice at the top there, it asks to chat. When we said earlier about the yes to chat, if you put no to chat, you would not be able to chat with this person. So if we go back to the main screen, so there you can see, and there you can see. So to initiate a chat, you select the person and hit the chat button, and you'll see waiting for the chat. And the other side, it'll say Wayne wants to chat, so you just do OK, and the chat screen will come up on both sides. Happy to chat, happy to chat. So you can see all the information about the person is below on both screens. And certainly you can start chatting, oh, whatever. And there's a send button at the top. You'll see on the other side, it comes up in yellow, highlighted, whatever you sent. And of course, you can send photographs as well. Go to the camera roll. And let's get a picture. Of anything abstract and that's the picture we're about to send and again if you hit the send button it'll come up and tell you the sending photograph on the other one of course it'll be a receiving photograph and eventually chop, it should be there so that's photograph received you tap on it it'll expand it to a bigger version so you can exit there back to the chat screen Okay, so now we're back to the chat screen on both sides. Now, to end the chat, you can just hit the top over there, back, and you've said to the other person, no chat, no more. The chat session has been terminated. So, really, that's a very quick overview of how they hang together. Now, we talked about my likes. So, if you go into my details, 
and go to my likes. You can actually filter now the type of people you'd like to see. Um, let's say we're looking for um, someone to have a cup of coffee or a casual drink for argument's sake. So let's save that. Now if you recall, um, let's go done. If you recall this other guy, his details, um, if you look at my details, he was looking for a backpacker buddy. So if we go back now, um, certainly he can see the other person because he's got no filters on. But of course he's disappeared from this guy because he's saying I'm looking for a cup of coffee rather than a backpacker buddy. So if we go back into my details and either, oops, not there, in my details, if we either clear the filter of looking for or change it to backpacker buddy, which is that one over there, um, then of course we'll get the other person in the house up again, which is now of course up there. So that's how you can filter out certain things you want to see or not see. So it's pretty funky. The next thing in my details that you may have noticed is that this particular conversation we have between these two phones is on Wi-Fi. Um, if you want to change to Bluetooth, you just go into my details and you'll see at the bottom of the screen it says there Wi-Fi is on and connect to Bluetooth. So we connect to Bluetooth and we go down at the top. You'll see now, of course, the other phone is not on because this phone here is on Wi-Fi. This phone here is on Bluetooth. So if we go into this phone as well and we go into My Details and we also connect him to Bluetooth and we go done. And now it, they will find each other on Bluetooth. Bluetooth is not as quick as Wi-Fi, but you'll see eventually they will both come up. And you'll see there a little B in the top corner. Oh, it doesn't focus too well. Showing Bluetooth. And the same functionality is available. You can click on it. You can see the person. And of course you can chat to them if they're up on chat waiting. On Bluetooth, to set up a chat session takes about 20 seconds because it's got to establish the connection. It's a lot slower than Wi-Fi. But eventually gets there. Uh, yep, there we got now. This person wants to chat. Brad wants to chat. Just hit OK. And yep, the chat screen comes up. Happy to start chatting. And off you can go and start sharing photographs and or whatever else you want to chat. You can use, of course, uh, emoticons. Uh, let's just go onto the emoticon screen. You can, um, even for your name or whatever, you can do emoticons. And send those. Send it, and of course on the other side it'll come up with all the emoticons. So you can use those in your name and or chatting. The other feature, oh, let's just uh, end chat over here, so it's no chat no more. The other thing is that um, on the full version of course there's this whole private network we were talking about. So what that entails, if you go into my details, um, and if you go into all the details that you can go through, if you see something at the bottom saying own net, that's your own network. If you go in there and you type in, oh, let's just do um, first, first, first for argument's sake, and you save that. Oh, it's maximum five characters. Each emoticon is two characters, so it's two emoticons would be the maximum, and uh, a letter. So if you save that, that's your own net. And if you go back, and back to the beginning and you're done. Now what you'll see is that on the other one, it's disappeared even though there's no filter, but um, the other phone would have to know that secret network code to get into the, able to see that person. So if you go into my details, and now you're going to my likes, and again you'll see own net at the bottom. So if you go into own net, and, um, in fact I don't think this phone's got emoticons on it, so. We won't be able to do it. All right, just hold on one second. We'll have to go back. And on the other phone where we were, my likes, my details. We just have to change own net. Um, we'll just clear it here to something, uh, just say BBH, whatever. Save that, my details. We're done. So again, um, you can see nothing's coming up on the other side because certainly it doesn't know the code. So if we're going to my details, going to my likes, and if he knows the own net code, then we type in uh, BBH, 
Oh, there, that was it. Yeah. And we save that. Let me go back. Go back. And we're done. And now, yes, as we can see, um, it comes up on the other side. And if, certainly, if you go into it and look at all the details of this person, you'll see uh, at the bottom the own net oops, of BBH. So that's really all the functionality. Um, the most important thing is you must make sure in your settings that you've got Bluetooth on and or Wi-Fi, depending on what, what you want to use. And the other thing that this allows is um, something called a business model. So if people are chatting in the pub or whatever, or at a backpack or lodge, and you buy the business version, let's just bring up the business version here. Um, this is for people that own businesses around to advertise to you on the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth network. So if we go into the business version, and this is the current offer. So if we go into my offer, um, shop name, we'll make that uh, John Shop. Let's save that. And current offer, oh, let's say, uh, there's a beers and things. Find, okay, oranges and all fruit. Uh, for the sake, say free with, with burger. Free with burger, yeah. Okay, so John's offering free fruit, fruit with every burger. Um, go back to my offer, back to in the house, and uh, he says done. I'm done now. And what you'll see here is he'll have the offer up on his screen. And the other phones don't show the offer because, of course, they're on Bluetooth. And the offer one is on Wi Fi. I didn't change him to Bluetooth. So if I go into this one and uh, connect a Bluetooth, so Bluetooth, and we're done. Okay, you'll. Uh, um, Okay, we're all done. Now all of a sudden you see that he's picking up um, his own offer that he's got out there. If you click on it, it'll show that John's offering free burger. That's his personal offer for business. But you also can see who else is in the house. You can see that uh, both Braden and Wayne are there. You cannot interact with them on the business version. And if you go back to the other guys, um, they can see as well that this offer is available. So if they click on the offer, it'll show them that the shop is offering a free fruit with burger. So that's really all three of them. Um, the business version, the light version, and the full version. As you might see, the light version doesn't have photograph interaction. It doesn't have its own network sort of stuff as well. But that's in the house. So download it and have some fun. Uh, from a Bluetooth perspective, I mean, Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi is, it uses peer-to-peer, -peer, so peer-to-peer -peer is blocked. It'll not come up on the Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is very good, but the range is limited. Um, the new phones, the iPhone 4S and the iPad, of course, um, they've got um, the new Bluetooth 4.0, which is an absolute ripper. It's very low power consumption, and it goes for 50 to 100 meters. So it's going to be great for in the house. So yeah, use it in clubs, use it out in pubs, or wherever you want to go. Um, I'm sure you'll find many uses for it. It'll be fantastic. Enjoy it.